Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today in this video I'm going to show you how I'm trying to turn this wefted hair that I did in my previous videos and turn it into a topper. This is not going to be a closure because closures need to be ventilated but the reason that I want to make this is because in this specific blend if you have watched my previous videos about the, the topper that I did it was for a lady in London and she requested it to be about four to five uh, inches, I mean four by five. And it was full high definition, single strand, single knot. This was a huge piece and it took me so long to make. So eventually it had to be very expensive. Of course, it was slightly underpriced based on uh, the time it took me to make, but she had to pay 250 euros just for a topper. So I promised her that I'm gonna try to make the same blend of hair uh, with the one that I did with the other topper and this time I'm gonna make wefts and then I'm gonna try to make some uh, tracks and first of all I'm doing this as a, as a trial and error because I really want to see if I can make uh, an affordable topper I don't want the topper to cost 250 or 300 euros I want it to cost around 100 to 150 so what I plan to do is fill the perimeter with uh, wefts everywhere and then I'm probably I'm going to leave uh, some space here to have like um, a high definition hair that's going to fall in all directions so it can actually um, spread apart and in the front I plan to have not only don't have a seam as you can see um, she, she, she wants to have bangs here in the previous one she had a, a seam as well like a fold like this but this time I just decided not to make it like that and of course this area is not going to have a clip it's going to, the clips are going to be all here it's going to be you know flat and I plan to put a little bit of hair ventilated. It's not going to be fully made with uh, wefts. Some areas are going to be ventilated. But the whole process should take like a couple of hours to make with everything from the weft making to the base making. And I just did the base with my sewing machine. I couldn't find identical thread to the lace. This is a little bit, it's creamy white, but it's not identical to this. But it doesn't matter. In this area, you wouldn't be able to see anything. So, uh, and also I cannot stitch with this sewing machine, I cannot stitch with this thread. This is impossible, I've tried it, I don't know why it doesn't want to work. So, I'm gonna make some um, linings with uh, some thread to know where I shouldn't put wefts. And then I'm gonna fill the other area with wefts, I have plenty of this. And then I'm gonna see how it's gonna happen, and then I'm gonna send this to this lady as a gift as I promised here that I'm gonna make a trial and error just to see because I'm still learning and it's, this is gonna be a gift for her because she already paid a lot of money for a good piece so this is gonna be a, a less defined piece still it's gonna be a gift so let's see how I make the markings so is this visible let me just put a little bit of background here take a look I just put a little bit of thread, it's not permanent of course, and I plan to put wefts everywhere except this area. I don't know about the front to be honest with you. I'm not gonna make a full high definition job here, I'm just gonna ventilate uh, rather bulky hair here of course. And the most high definition is gonna be here. This area is not gonna be too high definition because of the way that she uses the, the topper and uh, the way that everyone is using the topper, they just want this to spread apart hide everything and if they want to have it like in the side they're gonna place it in the side they don't expect this to be fully high definition so as to be able to part it wherever you want this is gonna be like that and let's see how it turns out So in the making of this topper, I just find out that I have a, a couple of weak points. Like you can see that this area here where I have an edge, the hair spreads like that so I, I wouldn't have good coverage. And this is even more prominent that I have two different wefts. So I decided 
but before I put the next weft I'm gonna put a little bit of wefting here so as to conceal this I don't know how this is gonna happen so I probably am going to cut a little bit from this bad weft that I don't like so much and I'm gonna be filling these little areas just to make sure that I'm gonna have good coverage so I'm gonna measure it first like so I'm gonna cut it a little longer than what I need it to be just to be sure that through the shedding I won't have a big problem that's one this one's gonna be here and of course uh, I'm, when I put this weft then I'm gonna put another one like this on top of that and of course I need to put one more in here so let me just measure that over here cut it and of course I have to, to sew them in right now sew them in both sides are kind of similar to be honest so let's just um, this sewing machine has a small problem uh, pinching through so many layers of material but it's doing a good job so far and just to make sure that this is going to be secure enough I'm gonna put it one more time like this and run it okay there is the other one just fell down so I'm gonna cut these two pieces off this piece and this piece as well So as you can see now, I have a little bit of coverage. You see how it used to be? Let me just see if I will frame. Okay, this is how it used to be. This is how it is now. And of course I have to do the same here. Watch it how it opens. See how it doesn't conceal this area. And I'm gonna put this little thing over here right now. Let me just cut off. I have a lot of um, excess thread that I didn't remove previously and my carpet right now is just full of hair and full of thread and everything but I don't care okay first let me put this in there place it where I need it without cutting the hair of course okay. so remember how it couldn't conceal very well you can see now that it doesn't conceal 100% let me just get it straight to you it has a little bit of filling over here of course but the more webs I put the more this area is gonna get concealed in this area as well they're just good for now so I'm gonna proceed in putting the, the rest of the webs and then I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, guess what? I just put all the wefts, you can see from the inside how it looks. And I ran out of it. Now the thing uh, when working with wefts is that, look how much I left. Um, when working with wefts, uh, this amount of hair is a little more than the hair that I used 
for hair topper, which means that when you're working with webs, you inevitably make everything thicker. I mean, I could just let uh, more space between these wefts, especially in the back. I mean, in the back, I don't mind because I really want a lot of bulkiness in the back so she can hide her own, uh, you know, the back of her, the crown of her head, everything spreads out there. But I could just let a little bit more uh, space between these these wefts here and here. I left a little bit more here. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be visible. Um, and just feel it better. But I mean, look at that. You can almost see these wefts here, even though I have put more because this is blonde hair. And of course, I've left the whole front uh, like a V, like a, a leveled scale here. So I'm going to put hair in all directions here. And it's going to be bulky, of course, but I will be able to make this um, look um, sturdy and, uh, and natural at the same time. So, yeah, I will have to ventilate this and then I'm going to come back to you and show you the results. And then I, I will have to put some clips and I'm going to have to see how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it by hand, of course, but for now I need to ventilate this area and then I'm going to see. So I did. I decided to do another weft. This is 19 centimeters. And this is about five. There are two separate um, wefts. And the reason why I did that is because I'm just holding the camera right now. So sorry for it being shaky. I decided that I don't want to ventilate the whole area. I'm going to put another weft here and then one more here. So it will end up being um, because I want to have extra hair in the back. So the 19 centimeters will go all the way here and the five is going to go there. So it's over and let me just show you from the inside how it looks i've put a little bit more in the you know the diagonal because i wanted these areas that spread apart to look better and this is how it looks from above this is not a free parting um, piece and it's a topper it doesn't have to be you can part it here if you want to as you can see you can't see much but I don't think it's necessary to part it anywhere else other than the, the middle because this is the safest part for you to part it. And I really feel that I need to do something about the front. Let me just flip it over again. I feel that this um, is a little bit too obvious because the thread is a little bit wide and I didn't have any creamy color like this color of thread. And this is a little bit too obvious, and I didn't want. I, didn't, I don't have a, f um, a fold here. What? Mm, maybe if I fold it like that. Oh wow! I just thought about something now. Fold it like that. So it's, no, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna cut this off. Maybe I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right now. Let's see if. I'm, no, you can't see that apparently. Can you see it now? Okay, I'm gonna cut off this little part over here. I have already molded this with some uh, nail polish in order it will not start um, coming undone. I don't know, like, do I need to remove it? Mm, maybe not. Oh well, I'm gonna send it like this to the lady. I'm not gonna cut it and she will decide whether she wants to cut it or not. I'm pretty satisfied. I am going to show you that it it, um, it can very easily like look how much hair it is. It's a lot of hair and it can very easily hide anything beneath that. You can't see anything. See, it has very good coverage ability, and you can part it in some other uh, areas other than just the middle, of course. But as I said, it's not necessary. It's not wise for you to do that. I'm going to put the contrast just so you can see exactly what it is. And that's how it looks. You can see more details now. You can see the, the front now a little bit more easier. But I don't know. If she wants to cut this part, she can do it. I think I'm going to send it like that. I'm going to put clips, of course, and then I'm going to show you how it looks from the inside. When you have the intense background, you can actually see a little bit of the wefting. But if I remove this, pretty much everything just vanishes. This is a problem with blonde hair. 
it doesn't cover very easily now the the thickness is a lot in this piece you can see look how much hair it is it's a lot of hair just for a top but it's uh, good because it's synthetic and human as well uh, you can thin it if you want to it's fairly big it's about 13 centimeters to about 15 centimeters 13 to 15 which is uh, 5 to 6 inches approximately yeah I'm pretty satisfied with that and if I had to price this uh, this is going to be 150 euros for a very believable topper with good good definition parting uh, you do have a little bit parting ability but it's not wise as I said so yeah I think she's gonna be very happy with this one